Hey everyone, I'm just gonna go straight in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in the shade Chocolate, just on this Zoeva angled liner brush, and just start filling in my eyebrows, start them underneath, filling through, and then just drawing on top as well. Then I'm just gonna dip into Warm Taupe from the Modern Renaissance palette on this pencil brush and just blend the the front end just to create that more ombre look then I'm just going to go through with the Maybelline fiber filler just to fill those out to prime the eyes today I'm using the Helene Cosmetics stage primer so I'm just going to pat that on all across the eyelids just carve out the brows so I'm just blending out the edges just with the Zoeva buffer and just patting that in across the eyelid just to set it down in place and I'm also going to bring that underneath the eye as well just because I put a little bit too much on the first shade I'm going in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Peaches and Cream I think this is a contour shade refill so I'm just using that as my transition shades on my Zoeva can't remember what brush it is but yeah my blending brush then I'm just going to go over top with the shade Lorange just doing the exact same thing, just blending it all out softly. Saying hi to Dan there, who was just cowering in the corner, hiding from the camera. Then just with a mixture of Love Letter and Real Gar, I'm just going to start blending that through the crease, but not taking it up as high as the previous two shades. So I'm just blending that out, going back in with Lorange, just making sure it's all blended together smoothly and that we don't lose any of the co previous colours. Just with this brush I'm just picking up more of that colour and focusing it directly into the crease just to deepen it up a bit. Then just taking Love Letter on its own on this smaller brush, I will list all my brushes below. I'm just going to focus that directly into the crease and the inner and outer thirds of my eye eyelid just to start building up that spotlight. Just blending it all together seamlessly. Then I'm just going to take this Morphe Single Shadow in the shade Rosewood and just again patting that on the inner and outer thirds just to deepen it up a bit. Then to carve out the spotlight, I'm going to use Max Select Cover Up in the shade NW20, I think I had, just on this small concealer brush, just to create that sharp spotlight effect. Then just to set that spotlight area, I'm going to take the shade Nightingale in this loose NYX pigment, which is this gorgeous purpley duochrome type pigment which went on beautifully then just on top of that I'm going to layer the peaches and cream mermaids pigment now I did spray my brush with fix plus to set it down but I would recommend using a sort of glitter glue with this pigment because I don't know if you can see in the video the pigment's just flying everywhere it, it, you really need to pat it down, like really pack it on the lid and I really struggled blending the edges of the spotlight here just because I should have done it before I put the pigments down so it did go a bit messy and I did tend to knock off most of the pigment and have to keep going back and put more and more on so I definitely use a glitter glue so I just then deepened up the outer, outer of the spotlight and then just going to curl my lashes, tight line, mascara and then just put some falsies on the Amy Helen lashes beautifully as always then I'm just going to use all the same colours underneath, starting with Lorange, then going in with Love Letter and Real Gar, and a touch of Rosewood as well. And then I'm also going to create a bit of a spotlight underneath as well with the Night Nightingale and Mermaid's pigments. Then just for eyeliner, I'm going to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. And then just a bit of mascara for my lower lashes. Then for the face, I'm going to start with the Kiehl's Daily Revive and Concentrate just to create that gorgeous glow. Then I'm going in with my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in the shade Y215. 
so I'm just, I don't know, I look fab. I'm just spraying my brush with a touch of Fix Plus and then just blending that all in. Spraying my sponge, should I say, not my brush. Then I'm just going to warm my face up because I look ever so ghostly using the Lottie London Foundation Stick and the shade Amber Honey. Just using that along the cheekbones, jawline, across the forehead and a little touch on the nose and the underneath my bottom lip. Then I'm going to start blending that out with my Beauty Blender just along the jawline. Then once it comes to the contour area, I'm using this Peaches and Cream, I think it's a contour brush. But I've just picked up the face set and the brushes are amazing, I'm loving them so far, so watch this space. Just going over any edges with my sponge just to make sure it's all blended nicely. And silly me, I forgot my concealer, how dare I. So I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NW15 in all the usual spots. Then just for the harder to reach areas, I'm going in with this soft blending brush just to make sure I don't lose any of that blend of my eyeshadow. Then just to set down the under eye, I'm going to use the RCMA No Colour Powder on this little peaches and cream brush. I can't remember the name of this one, I will list them all below. But I'm just setting down the T-zone area and then the underneath of my eyes. And I completely forgot to use my new Iconic London Liquid Illuminator Drops. This time I've got the shade Shine, which suits my skin tone just a little bit better. I'm just dabbing that on the tip of my sponge and getting the cheekbones, Cupid's bow and the tip of my nose. For bronzer, I'm going to take my MAC Mineralized Skin Finishing Medium Tan on the Peaches and Cream Powder Brush. And then just to deepen that up and add a touch of contour, I'm going to take Skin Finish in the shade Dark on this Morphe R13. And just use that to hit the midpoints of wherever I've just bronzed and then run a touch up the sides of my nose. For highlight, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills That Glow Glow Kit and just pretty much go in on every single shade. Because why not? Highlight is life. Just look at that glow. Then just to tie the highlight and contour together, I'm going to go in with Kiko Milano Baked Bronzer as a sort of a blush today. I'm just using my Beauty Blender to make sure that's all blended together nicely. For lips, I'm going to take the NYX Lip Liner in the shade Nude Pink and just outline my lips and colour them in slightly. Then for lipstick, I've got a choice of these bourgeois velvet lipsticks. I was kind enough to be sent the whole selection of bourgeois lipsticks. So I've gone in with Flame and Rose first, which is this gorgeous pinky nude. And then just in the centre of my lips, I decided to put a touch of Hay Nude, just to create a little bit of an ombre effect and give it a bit more of a nude look rather than pinky look. And then just to finish off the whole look, I'm going to put a touch of the Mermaid's pigment just on the inner corners just to create that lovely inner corner highlight. And that's the finished look for today, so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe below to see more from me. 
Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye.